This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon. I'm Phil Lipoff, and we are coming on the air with breaking news for you. A horrific scene unfolding. This is just outside of Chicago. Authorities on the scene of a deadly shooting at a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois. At least five people shot and killed. 19 hospitalized. The victim shot along the parade route. Shots reportedly fired about 10 minutes after the parade started. Authorities reportedly believe the shooter may have been on a roof. Let's listen in to the police. Hello, my name is uh, Commander Chris O'Neill. First and foremost, we're all grieving for the families and friends who lost loved ones today those injured and everyone impacted by this horrific, senseless, random act of violence. I served as the incident commander on scene. Uh, I was present at approximately 1014 when this started. There was an active shooter incident that occurred in downtown Highland Park during our 4th of July holiday parade this morning. This was an active incident and all individuals are still urged to shelter in place at this time. Highland Park Police and numerous federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies are searching for the suspect. The suspect is currently described as a male white, approximately 18 to 20 years old, with longer black hair, a small build, and wearing a white or blue t-shirt. A firearm has been recovered from the scene. We have secured the perimeter around downtown, downtown Highland Park and are continuing our searches. At this time, two dozen people have been transported to Highland Park Hospital. Six are confirmed deceased. Anyone with video, photos, or other evidence are urged to contact Highland Park Police Public Safety Dispatch at 847-432-7730. We will provide a tip line. This information will be in short order. Thank you. This morning at 1014, our community was terrorized by an act of violence that has shaken us to our core. Our hearts go out to the families of the victims during this devastating time. On a day that we came together to celebrate community and freedom, we're instead mourning the loss, the tragic loss of life and struggling with the terror that was brought upon us. While we've all felt the burden of this terrible act, I want to pause and thank the first responders who ran towards the danger to render aid during this active shooter situation. We saw individuals who responded selflessly and put themselves at risk to save others. We've had an outpouring of support from federal, state, county, and fellow municipalities of resources and offers of condolences and concern, and we will avail ourselves of everything that they offer to us immediately. At this point, we know that six people have lost their lives, and we are grieving for them and their families, members of our community who came out to celebrate together and instead faced this terror. Another 24 have been transported to the hospital. Multiple agencies, including the FBI and state police, are working with our local authorities and the governor has offered his full support. What we know at this time is this is an active situation and we urge everyone to remain indoors and be on high alert but remain calm. Please contact your loved ones and ensure that they're safe and let them know that you're safe as well. This situation, as you know, is evolving rapidly and we will continue to update you as we gain information and stabilize the situation. Thank you. So from a scene management perspective at this point, it is still a very active scene. Highland Park Police Department is leading this investigation as well as the apprehension efforts into the offender involved here. Uh, as the mayor said, as the commander said, we're asking everybody to stay indoors, stay vigilant right now. This person is not identified. Uh, by all means at this point, this appears to be completely random. Uh, so with that, there have been questions that have been coming in. Are events safe tonight? That's up to each individual community to assess on their own, make that determination. But no, this person is not yet in custody. We have hundreds of police officers out here. Uh, as the mayor said, from the FBI, the state police, other federal agencies, we have SWAT teams that are going door to door as well. Uh, anybody with any video surveillance is strongly encouraged to contact the Highland Park Police Department uh, so we can take a look at that and it can be useful in our investigation. The FBI is working hand in hand with the Lake County Major Crime Task Force right now, processing the scene. It will be a very methodical processing of the scene uh, and an investigation has commenced and is underway. 
Uh, we're going to do our very best to provide briefing updates every 30 minutes to an hour if we can. We will keep the community informed. Uh, and, and with that, we thank you for covering this and, and sharing this information. And again, very sad day here. Uh, it was a rifle. Do you have any information on where the suspect could be right now? Is he at all barricaded? It, there is no indication he's barricaded anywhere or has any hostages that has been uh, kind of circling around. There is no indication of that. Investigators are very, very uh, quickly working to try to identify who this person is and try to figure out where he's at. So, so it does appear he was shooting from a roof. The roof that uh, he was shooting from, I, I don't have that information right now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.